I bet that after you enjoyed your Newtonian telescope for visual observing, you wanted to try some astrophotography with the DSLR camera. The problem is that you are not able to reach focus. And in today's video, I want to show you how you can modify your Newtonian reflector for prime focus astrophotography. The standard Newtonian reflector design is not made for astrophotography. The focal point of the standard reflector is too low, so it's good for visual observing, but to attach a DSLR camera, you are not able to reach focus. There is not enough inward focus to, to, hit, the, to hit the sensor. I have here one DSLR camera, and as you can see, The sensor is too deep inside the body of the camera, so you have few options how to reach the focus with the SLR. The first option is to buy a dedicated Newtonian reflector for astrophotography. This one is not made for astrophotography, this one is for uh, visual observing. I have uh, one Newtonian reflector for uh, astrophotography. So I will show you it now. So this is the telescope made for astrophotography. But the second solution is to buy just this focuser. This is a low profile focuser as you can see. But the issue is you cannot attach this focuser to every Newtonian reflector. Like, for example, this one, uh, you will have to drill new holes to fit it, so it's a bit complicated. Third solution is to use a barrel lens. Uh, the issue with the barrel lens is that it will increase your focal length of the telescope. And uh, the image will be dimmer and of course uh, the field of view will be narrower. So I don't recommend to do that. However, you can reach the focus if you use the barrel lens here. The last option is to move the primary mirror a little bit inside, more inside the telescope. So you will push the focal plane a little bit higher. And this is the solution we are going to do today. I will show you how you can easily move the primary mirror a little bit inside the telescope it's it's easy it's cheap it's fast but i have to warn you uh, do that on your own risk if you break your telescope mirror you will break your warranty of course so be careful and maybe uh, ask someone to help you with that Now, remove the bolts that are holding the mirror. Uh, it's a good idea to remove uh, the long ones first. These are just uh, locking screws, so they are not holding the mirror. They are just locking the mirror in place after you collimate the, the telescope. Now, uh, try to hold the housing like that and now you can remove the rest of the 
terus Go around one by one until they are loose. Don't flip the mirror in this stage because it will fall off from the housing. Now you can remove the mirror. As you can see, it's holding on those uh, three bolts, but they are not long enough to to move the mirror uh, inside the telescope. So the next thing we have to do is to remove the springs. You won't be use them uh, anymore because uh, yeah, you can if you if you put some washers there. Next, you are gonna need few bolts, new bolts, older bolts. I bought this uh, one with the butterfly head. So use uh, these ones. Uh, here so we end up with three balls looking like this now to extend those ones on the mirror I'm using I don't know how they call it but you can get also longer ones Screw it uh, halfway, roughly, roughly halfway through, like that. So they are evenly screwed. Now. Take the housing of the mirror and uh, place the mirror right on the... I don't know if you can see, but you have three bolts here. Now screw those ones in. And use the standard bolts or uh, I bought more uh, bolts with uh, butterfly head but uh, look if you want to try to screw them here they are you can do it because you cannot have two butterfly bolts butterfly bolts either so I'm using the standard bolts to lock the as locking screws, locking bolts. Now we can maybe, I don't know if you see it.
Now you can see that that bolt is locking the mirror and this one is holding the mirror. So you can adjust the distance and you can collimate with it's uh, it's a little bit tricky to collimate uh, a mirror like that but it can be done but the point is now you will be able to reach focus with your DSLR and you can do prime focus astrophotography and now I want to show you a few more tips how you can improve that so the finished product looks something like this it's not beautiful but uh, the mirror is a little bit inside now there is another solution you can do uh, to cut the telescope tube but uh, this is not reversible so this this modification you can always go back uh, to your old bolts and uh, you can have it as it was uh, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, or are T-rings now this is the standard T-ring that people use uh, for DSLR cameras the first tip for you is don't use nose pieces nose piece is this nose piece you can screw on the T-ring and then it goes into the focuser the problem with this is that uh, it's still a little bit too far from the from the focal point you will be able to reach focus now maybe but it's gonna be somewhere you know maybe here and the issue is if the focus tube is sticking too much in the telescope the the stars on your pictures uh, will be like t-shaped or distorted it's not good the point here is to have the uh, to reach the focus uh, a little bit higher you can achieve that by uh, unscrewing this one quarter inch adapter and you end up with something like this is the two inch uh, reduction for the for the focus you can use T-ring here on the W. You can screw it right on that. You see? And then you can attach the camera here. And it's pretty, you say it few millimeters. To save more, you can get something like this. This is also a tearing, but uh, this is ultra thick, ultra thin tearing. Oh, this is not a tearing. You see, this is the standard tearing. And this is the ultra thing. You also save like half, maybe more centimeters. So this go onto the adapter. And on the DSLR. Now as you can see, it's pretty almost on the focuser so the focuser tube will be not sticking too much out of the tube okay so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i'm looking forward to see you in the next video